of the Archbishop. Um, he knows truly through her leadership role on the Arts and Spirituality Commission, which she chaired for several years, a good few years. Apart from reading the reports about the work of the Commission, the Archbishop also contributed to our online Lenten retreat during the past three years by recording a short introduction to each week's video. On the Commission, we're very lucky to have a range of really talented people. Bishop, uh, no. <laughs> I didn't say bishops. <laughs> Priests, religious, and lay people. Some with great experience of spiritual direction, youth ministry, leading retreats, and writing about prayer and various other areas of expertise. Over the years, we have explored different possibilities for promoting spirituality in the diocese and in our parishes. Trudy's leadership has been a huge asset in keeping us focused and moving forward. I'm also aware there are so many other things that Trudy does, locally and more widely, which I am not qualified to speak about, except I do know that she has made her quiet garden at the sanctuary available on a regular basis for anyone who's looking for a space for quiet prayer and reflection. I thought I ought to add a little background about the Spirituality Commission itself. One of the questions a priest gets asked most often is for advice about prayer. We all know how important prayer is, um, but we all go through periods when our old habits of prayer don't seem to give us the satisfaction that they used to. We want to find our, our, our way to a closer experience of God, but we don't know how to go about it. Or perhaps we're just looking to move on in some way in terms of our relationship with God. I think the Commission really does two things. First, we try to provide some simple but useful resources, such as our ways into prayer, a um, resource which gives an introduction to the range of ways in which we can pray, possibilities which many people probably aren't aware of, which can make a huge difference to our experience of prayer. And I've also mentioned the, already the, uh, the online retreat. Second, we have been aiming, aiming to build up a network around the diocese so that the resources that are available, or all, all around the diocese, can be more widely known. There are so many opportunities for retreats, quiet days, prayer groups, talks and other events, plus all sorts of other things available online if you know where to look, and we want to make these things more widely known. On a similar note, we have a list of people who can offer spiritual direction, or perhaps better to call it spiritual accompaniment, with the process of helping people to find someone suited to them. We also promote the idea that this isn't just something for priests and religious, but is available to lay people as well. Finally, um, I sometimes feel that these sorts of presentations can look a bit like a farewell. I'd like to emphasise that truly isn't leaving us, just the fact that she's stepped down from the role of chair, of chair made this an appropriate time for this presentation. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. 
small version of the same one and sort of lapel pin. So you've got a choice of picking four. <coughs> Thank you very much.